Hi, it's been a while since I've done videos like this. If you're wondering why, it's because I've had trouble finding software to do the screen capture. Today's video is about Contact Player. Now you will be seeing Contact, the full version. So when you first open it, it may look like this. Just a blank screen, doesn't really tell you much. There's some stuff at the top, the typical menu stuff, and these ones where my mouse is are going to be some of the important ones. First thing you want to do is go up to the square looking thing and click on browser. You can also use, also use the F1 key and that will show you what music libraries you have installed that are compatible with contact. If you don't see anything here, make sure you don't have a, something typed in up here. Click on the X if you want to get rid of it. And if still nothing shows up, run Native Instruments Native Access Program. You may have forgotten to download the factory library. I know this comes with Contact Player. There may be one or two other libraries that do as well, but you'll definitely have this one. And to get started, this is more than enough. So to play some sounds, we need to choose an instrument. And at first it might look like that. Click on the instruments. Style of music you want. Let's just go with the band one to start with. Horns, pianos, whatever. I'll do a pianos. I'm just clicking on it just like any file menu would be. So here I go to Grand Piano, double click on it, or drag it over into this spot here. And you'll have the instrument. You have number of options down here, and instrument options in here. Reverb, cabinets, like an amplifier, EQ, and some other effects in here. And then... And you can adjust the volume, because that is a little soft. Now I'm starting to peak. Maybe I should have left it where it was. But that is pretty much all you need to do to get Contact Player up and running. If you start to double click like you want to add another instrument, you'll notice here the MIDI channel down here in the upright piano says channel 2. Well, if your keyboard isn't playing on channel 2, all you're going to hear is the grand piano. If I mute it, which is what this little button does, nothing. But if I change the upright piano's MIDI to Omni, you'll hear it. And you could take the other one off mute and you have both. Uh, you have a pan knob here. I'll put the grand piano all the way to the left and the upright piano all the way to the right. You can adjust the volume, of course. You can change the tuning. You can always control click to return everything to where it should be. And I think that's pretty much it to get you started on Contact Player. If you have other libraries, you can just load them up. Uh, I have the full version. As you can see, I have quite a few libraries, more than I need, really. Uh, one other one that might be included is the Retro Machines. I think it's included. You can also drag an instrument over top of an existing instrument, and it will replace it. If you made any changes like we did, it'll ask if you want to save it. And I don't. I want to replace it. And I really don't want this upright piano anymore, so I'll get rid of it with this little X, and we don't want the changes saved. And if for some reason your instruments look like this, you just have the little header stuff in there, click on this bottom one. I think in the player you might not have the uh, wrench looking icon, but you would have this one. And you could also do it up here. You can even make it even smaller by clicking on some of these, and of course X takes you out of it. And to get you started, just start twisting knobs, see what it does. Why, 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 why
Go to my website, I have a blog, jamesgilbertmusic.com, and you'll see a link to the blog. Ask me questions there. I'll put a, I'll have an article about this in there. And I will leave you at that. I do not have comments turned on on YouTube. Go to my website, jamesgilbertmusic.com, and leave some comments at my blog. Thank you.